Craig Hoffman. I was 13. I was fresh off my bar mitzvah. I've always wanted to go to a bar mitzvah. I know a decent amount of Jews, do. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. The Hoffman Show. I actually think Anthony would be great at a bar mitzvah. I do too. Just out there on the <laughs> dance floor teaching kids new stuff. But like the kind of stuff that you want kids to learn. <laughs> I think that's right. On 80's bucket list, Bar Mitzvah. <laughs> On the Team 980 and the RCF. Black Bar Mitzvahs, Mozart Talk is a celebration. Nahaim. It's off the show. We're on the Team 980. We're always live as well on the free Odyssey app. We are streaming live on YouTube at the Team 980. Uh, coming up at 5.30, Justin Williams from The Athletic on a new story that he and Nicole Auerbach wrote about college sports and a $3 billion lawsuit that could change the landscape of it. But right now, back to today's top story, which, of course, is Commander's OTAs. And uh, let's bring in someone that I, uh, I watched quite a bit of practice with today. Anthony, please hit the magical introduction button. Today's top story, from the perspective of someone who's there. You are looking live. This just in. Not my beat. Host of B. Mitch and Finley, and of course he's on your television as well on NBC4. It is J.P. Finley. What up, dude? Uh, what up, man? I have a series of complaints, or, or at least comments to make. Okay, um, off we go. One, did Ant say Bart Mitzvah in that promo? Um, Anthony, what what's your verdict on your own vernacular there? I did not say Bart Mitzvah. I said Bar Bar, even though it did sound like uh, one of the Simpson children, it did definitely sound like that. JP, I will, I will admit that that is a thing that you probably heard correctly, even if it's not what Anthony meant or even if it, what he said. I understand why you asked the question. Thank you, thank you. All right, yes. that's number one. Okay, that's number um, one. Number two, I was listening to you guys. I don't think I have commented on your long sleeve shirts since at least Richmond. So no, you're actually great in that department. Comment. Like, everyone That's else good. seems to get their shots in. Guy makes the same joke every week. Like, he has the joke he makes about everybody, and he makes it. He just shoot or shoot, man. So you know John's going to bring that well, every time. Yeah, no, Kime today was just piling on other people. Fortier was sincere in asking the same thing he's probably asked me uh, at least once a year for the last four years. Fortier's walking around with a shiner. He should, he should keep his opinions to himself. I, maybe um, that's how we got the shiner. I don't know. I, I don't. I truly don't know how we got the shiner. So I'm not asking for trouble here. I'm just saying, like sometimes that's how that goes. No, he was playing hoops. He told me the story. Uh, uh, lastly, lastly, so I hear you guys. I hear you guys talking about pull-ups, and yep. I do not, especially talking to you and Ant, who are very much fitness guys. I'm not pretending to be a fitness guy, but I think I could out surpass your expectations for me on a pull-up bar. Okay. Like I have a pull-up bar at the house. Okay, and Ant was like. Yeah, Ant, Ant says to me, I got faith in you, man. You can do at least one. And I told Ant to go bleep himself. I can do like <laughs> five or six. Okay. That's, that. you know, here's what I said, JP. I'll, I'll be honest with you because this is the, exactly what I told Anthony in the break. I thought you would be Mr. I can't do a pull up. But I said, I think he's wrong. I thought you were going to say zero for yourself, but you'd actually be wrong about that. And you could at least knock out a couple. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if B. Mitch is judging them, it might be like two or three because he's going to be a ball buster and not like my, you know, my ankles have to hit the ground or something. But if it's just like I'm going to rip a couple pull ups and I'm allowed to swing a little, I, I'll be all right. So I promised the audience in less than two minutes we will be talking about Commander's OTAs, but I, I now feel compelled to tell the story of how this came up. We were doing a take command mailbag and we got a listener question of whether I thought I could do more than Logan. And so we talked about it. And Logan, when he was in Chicago, apparently set the team record for pull-ups body weight. Like he just is like, we know Logan's freakishly strong, but it's very hard to do a pull-up when you're as big as Logan is like as strong as he is. Like if it was like, Hey, how much could you barbell row where you're picking up something that's not relative to your body weight? Like Logan can row a small house. But, you know, he right. weight, you know, it is playing weight. He was 280, he's still 270. And I think he said he got like 25 or something like that when he was in Chicago. That's crazy. And they were neutral grips, so your hands facing each other. And you had to come to a dead hang in between. And so he's like, I think I can get about 10. And he thought I could, I could outdo him. 
I tested this morning. I have the video and everything. I hit 10. I thought it was 11 because my wife had started counting for me. And I guess she was counting like this next one will be 11. I did have one more in the tank. I think I could have gotten him. But officially, Logan and I are tied at 10 pull-ups currently. Uh, a, a solid one, two dead hang in between. That's where we're at. That's where that came from. I would not challenge either of you. So <laughs> <laughs> that's fine with me. So to round I this think, out, Anthony, how many do you think you could do? I can do 15 at least. At least? Okay. Challenge is on. All right. Perhaps. I, I can see Ant being really good, although his, you do have long arms, Ant, which kind of hurts you. I do, but one of the kids challenged me uh, like two weeks ago to do 18 pull-ups, and I did 18. So I th- I, at, at, at least I could do 15. Yeah. We also, Logan and I wound up doing ours not neutral grip, which is easier. So I think I could push 12 or 15 if it was neutral grip. Based on my performance this morning, I can drink more vodka than all of you. That is true. (laughs) That is, there's no doubt about that. All right, JP Finley is with us here on the Hoffman Show. Hey, this is DA, and you're listening to the Hoffman Show on the Team 980 and the Odyssey.